little water, you know, a little water. It didn't hurt to have a little water. Yeah, you know. <clears throat> The Swallow Flipper is working, I'm happy to say. I'd like to talk a little bit about sports. Sports are very big in this country. I'm a sports fan. That's fine. Thank you. Good. Yes, I know a lot of people feel positive about sports. As I say, I'm, I'm not a fanatic about sports, but I'm not a casual observer either. I uh, was watching ESPN today, for which I am thankful, by the way, all sorts of strange things they show on ESPN. Today they had some swimming that was interesting. The women's 200-meter breaststroke. Well, I'd never have seen a woman with 200-meter breasts. <laughs> so I was really interested. But I'll tell you this. I'm enough of a sports fan that I suggest I have some rules changes I would like to suggest. I think there are some changes we could make in certain sports that would make them more exciting, you know? Like in football, I would let all 45 guys play at the same time. <laughs> you know, what's this shit standing around watching the game? Get in there, put a helmet on, and hurt somebody, for Christ's sake, will ya? You're not getting paid to watch, and never mind lining up. Just grab the ball and run like a motherfucker, you know? <laughs> Another thing I would do in football, I would leave the injured on the field. <laughs> well, they're always talking about how it's a big war going on out there. Fine, let the Red Cross come around and pick these assholes up. <laughs> Here's how I'd change basketball. You could make basketball a lot quicker. You know what you do? You have a two-second shot clock. As soon as that ball is inbounds, get that some bitch up in the air. I didn't come to watch a game of catch. I'm looking for a four or five hundred point ball game. I'm a fan. I want six overtimes and a thousand points on the board. Another thing I would do for basketball at the center court line, for ten feet on either side of the center court line, I would have a gasoline fire. You talk about the fast break, you'd see the really fast break. Here's another suggestion for basketball. I would allow 25 points for any ball that goes in the basket off another guy's head. <laughs> you'd see some good fights during those close games, I'll tell you. And you'd increase the chance for serious injuries. That's what I'm looking for, injuries. That's what I like about sports. I don't care who wins these games. If I want to see winners, I'll watch the Academy Awards. I'm looking for injuries, serious, lifelong, crippling, debilitating injuries. I'm an American. Give me a little violence and I'm a happy guy. Most people won't admit that. Most people won't admit that. They'll say, well, I like the competition. Yeah, like Hiroshima, right? <laughs> Fuck the competition. I'm looking for a leg in two or three places. Well, now, getting back to how we can improve these sports and speed them up. You know, baseball needs a little speeding up. You know how you speed up baseball? Everybody gets one swing. That's it. One swing. Fuck you. You're out. Sit down. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Sit down. Next. Come on. Let's go. There's another thing to make base baseball a lot faster. If the pitcher hits the batter with the ball, batter's out. <laughs> you hit 27 guys, you got yourself a perfect game, my friend. You get two really good, accurate pitchers out there, and you could be out of that ballpark in 15 minutes. You could be home watching football on TV and see some serious goddamn injuries. One more thing for baseball, out in the outfield, I would have a series of randomly placed landmines. There's Marshall settling under that ball. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> now, I must explain. The only reason I mention baseball, basketball, and football is because, to my way of thinking, these are really the only three sports we have. Nothing else qualifies as a sport, according to me. Everything else is a game or an activity. Hockey comes to mind. People think hockey is a sport. Hockey is not a sport. Hockey is three activities going on at the same time. Ice skating, playing with a puck, and beating the shit out of somebody. <laughs> now, if these guys were intelligent at all, they would do these things one at a time. First you go ice skating, then you play with a puck, then you go to the bar and beat the shit out of somebody. The day would last a lot longer and these guys would have a whole lot more fun. Tell you another reason hockey is not a sport, it's not played with a ball. Anything that isn't played with a ball can't be a sport. These are my rules, I make them up. <laughs> hockey is played with a puck. What is a puck? I never even heard of a puck outside of hockey. Have you ever heard of a puck? The only other place you find a puck is in the urinal to control the smell in the bathroom. <laughs> All right? And as far as I'm concerned, any game where the main object is something that came out of a urinal is definitely not a sport. <laughs> soccer, soccer is not a sport because you can't use your arms. Anything where you can't use your arms can't be a sport. 
Tap dancing isn't a sport. I rest my case. <laughs> Another thing I don't like about soccer, they got dots on the ball. That's a big rule of mine. No goddamn dots on the ball. <laughs> running. People think running is a sport. Running isn't a sport because anyone can do it. You know, anything we can all do can't be a sport. I can run, you can run. My mother can run. You don't see her on the cover of Sports Illustrated, do you? People say, I'm going to run down to the store and buy a loaf of bread. Fine, it's not a goddamn sport. I'm not going to pay to watch you buy a fucking loaf of bread. Swimming. Swimming isn't a sport. Swimming is a way to keep from drowning. That's common sense. Sailing? Sailing isn't a sport. Sailing is a way to get somewhere. Riding a bus isn't a sport. Why the fuck should sailing be a sport? <laughs> boxing is not a sport. Boxing is a way to beat the shit out of somebody. In that respect, boxing is a more sophisticated form of hockey. But beating the shit out of somebody is not a sport in spite of what the police think. When police brutality becomes an Olympic event, fine, then boxing can be a sport. <laughs> bowling? Bowling isn't a sport because you have to rent the shoes. <laughs> Don't forget my rules, I make them up. <laughs> billiards? Now, billiards is not a sport because there's no chance for serious injuries. Unless you welch on a bet in a tough neighborhood. <laughs> then, if you see a guy with a pool cue sticking out of his ass, you know that might be a sports-related injury. But that's not billiards, that's pool. And that starts with a P and that rhymes with D and that brings me to darts. Now darts could be a sport because you might put somebody's eye out. But darts will never be a sport because the whole object is to reach zero, which goes against all sports logic. Lacrosse, lacrosse is not a sport, lacrosse is a faggot college activity. Sorry about that. That's right. Anytime you're standing in a field with a stick with a net on the end of it, you're engaged in a faggot college activity. <laughs> Same thing goes for field hockey and fencing. These things aren't sports, but you can't gamble on them. Anything you can't gamble on can't be a sport. When was the last time you made a fucking fencing bet? <laughs> gymnastics? Gymnastics is not a sport because Romanians are good at it. <laughs> Took me a long time to come up with that rule, but... <laughs> By God, I thought of one. Polo, polo isn't a sport. Polo is golf on horseback. <laughs> it's a great concept, but it's not a sport. And water polo, I don't even want to mention water polo because it's extremely cruel to the horses. <laughs> Which brings me to hunting. You think hunting's a sport? Ask the deer. The only thing good about hunting is the many accidents on the weekends. Which brings me to auto racing. Now we're talking serious goddamn injuries, folks. I don't know about you, but that's what I'm looking for in auto racing, a nice crash and a car fire. I don't care who wins these races. It's the same five rednecks who win all the time anyway. Who gives a shit about these people? I gotta be honest with you. Listen, I gotta be honest. Driving 500 miles in a circle does not impress me. I'm looking for an accident. Let me put it this way. When else am I going to see a 26-car collision and not be in the goddamn thing? <laughs> then we have tennis. Now, tennis... <laughs> very trendy, not a sport. Tennis is a form of ping-pong. In fact, tennis is ping-pong played while standing on the table. <laughs> you know? Great idea, <laughs> but it's not a sport. In fact, all racket games are nothing but derivatives of ping pong. Even volleyball is racketless team ping pong played with an inflated ball and a raised net while standing on the table. <laughs> and then finally, we come to golf. Do you ever watch golf on TV? It's like watching flies fuck. <laughs> I get more excited picking out socks. <laughs> Golf could be fun if you could play alone, but it's these genetic defectives that you have to hang around with that makes it such a boring pastime. Think of the brains that it takes to play golf. 
hitting a ball with a crooked stick and then walking after it. And then hitting it again. I say, pick it up, asshole. You're lucky you found it. Put it in your pocket and go the fuck home, will ya?